It's Stargrave week and we have prizes up for grabs. We'll be choosing winners from three of our communities. One from the comments on YouTube, one from the comments from OnTabletop.com and one from the Cult of Games members so you guys get an extra chance to win. Make sure and get your comments in and we hope you enjoy the week. This Let's Play was supported by these awesome hobby companies. Hi everybody, myself and Jerry are back for another Let's Play of Stargrave. Uh, in the last game we played, uh, I got off with some loot, I got some nice tasty things which I've sold for monies. Uh, I got to level up my captain, so he's a little better at shooting now. Jerry, what happened to you? Aside, uh, aside from you know your captain like you know going down and having to go to med bay like mine did. Yeah, he was fine. He he walked it off. <laughs> the the worst part was when he was down, somebody robbed him. Now I'm hoping it was one of your men stripped him naked. <laughs> but uh, as it was, it turned out I actually got twenty more experience than you did ah. uh, because I was doing the mission. Although I came out with substantially less money because I didn't get loads of great loot. Yeah, my one bit of loot just turned out to be one hundred and fifty creds in somebody's bank account <laughs> that wasn't secured. So, so uh, I you got someone's chipping pin. Yeah, so I, I increased my fight on my captain, but um, okay. everybody's back. Nobody is or the worst for wear for me. So yeah. Well, none of mine are worse for wear, aside from my, my puppy, yep. who I d forgot to deploy. Yep. I forgot to deploy the doggo. Well, you can throw him on. I, the doggo I, can you know, go here. He, he may or may not be long for this world, time will tell. Well, he's coming in with half health because of what happened. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily a bad thing. Well, we'll see. So, we're going to be playing the Starport Raid. Yes, and so that is why we have these on the tabletop, mm. to mark our launching spacecraft. Yep. So, we've almost concluded a deal when the alarm clacks and sound all over the station. Raid shout your contact just before they turn and flee down a corridor, leaving you standing. In an instant, the busy but peaceful station turns into chaos with people running in every direction, some discarding everything they're carrying just to get away, others taking the opportunity to loot. Gathering your crew around you, you head out, racing for your hangar. The pirates have come. So, we have our four spaceships. Not ours. Yeah. They will become apparent in a moment. I'm over here with my crew yep. of the uh, Sable Kestrel, and yep. we're attempting to get to our hangar way over there. Yeah, and uh, my captain is trying to get my crew from my side of the board to our hangar over on the other side, so he's screaming, Get to the shuttle! Do it now! That type of thing. Um, there are a couple of special rules for this, and we're also including the unwanted attention. So we didn't do it in our in our first playthrough, yeah. which is the ticking clock of additional pirates and ne'er do wells yes. who come in. So that should keep things slightly frisky, anyway. On top of which, every turn these ships yeah. have a chance to launch, and if anybody is standing nearby when one launches, like most of my crew, uh, they can be blasted back by the exhaust and actually take damage from it, and these will launch randomly. <laughs> Hopefully, if we're not lucky, they won't la launch randomly, they'll just sit there, because every time they sit there not launching, you add dice to the unwanted attentions table, which means you're more likely to get more pirates and worse pirates. Okay, so there's a balance on this of, yes, they might launch to mm. create comedic effect, firing your crew across the, the, the launch mm. pad, but if they don't, pirates are going to go, there's still four ships there. Those mm. probably have nice things and we can have that. Exactly. Now, there is going to be loot like normal, so we'll put that down in a second. Mm -hmm. However, any figure that was reduced to zero health during the, the scenario and survives on the table is actually captured by the pirates. Oh dear. And you will have to pay a bribe to get them back. Okay, I'm glad I sold my loot from the last one because I'm sitting with 500 credits. And uh, experience is gained as normal, plus... Every crew member that escapes off the table edge mm -hmm. gets plus five experience. Oh, nice. And you get plus five experience for killing any pirate up to a maximum of 30 as you okay. go. So it is a smash and this is literally a smash and grab. There okay. is no hanging around on this one as we attempt to get across the board. Okay, well, first things first. Uh, yes. How many uh, pieces of loot are we putting down? Five again? Five again. And the one going into the center will be. Randomized? Randomized. Okay, so I will randomize that for a two. 
Ooh, I think so, it's, so uh, it's physical, data. Physical. No, it's data this time. Is it data? Yep. Okay. So I'm assuming it's going to sit somewhere in here. Yep. Where are we? Uh, 18, so it's actually going to be in this corner here. Okay. So I'll just pop it there. There we go. Make it look pretty. And, and then, then I get one physical. One physical. And one data. Yep. And I have to deploy them on your side of the table? Yes. And no more than six inches. So do you want to roll to see who's deploying these first? Yeah, sure. Uh, so for myself, I'll get an eight. I get a 13. That'd be a crit in the near side project. So I will deploy one first. Mm -hmm. Considering all your guys are over here, mm -hmm. I'm going to put a data terminal there. Okay. Is that? That's probably about right. Uh, I'm just having a look to see who you have where. I think I'm going to place one in here right next to a possibly splitting spaceship. Oh man, that's terrible. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, aren't I a stinker? Yeah, well, you know. And then finally, six inches away, so I can do something similar on this side here. And for my last one, I think I'm going to put it like here, okay, just out of the way. Okay. So, yes, ready for round one? Get to your shuttle. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get okay, to it. Yep, so roll for primary. Uh -huh. uh, five. Seven, so I will... Uh, I'll let you be the primary player. Okay. And the first thing you want to do is see whether or not any of these delightful ships explode into space. Uh-huh, so for the first one? Uh, no, you just rolled a d20, and on a 1 to 4, one of them launches. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and oh. on anything else, we add plus 2 to the, oh my god, they're coming roll later on. Okay, so roll 11. 11, no, so we're going to get a plus 1 to the, oh my god, oh my god, I don't want to die. <laughs> okay, uh, so I'll start with my captain. Him and the three crewmates around him mm -hmm. are going to go for a, a bit of a run. Mm -hmm. So... Mon Capitan is six to begin with, so he can total out at nine if he wants. But I think he's okay just going six here. Mm -hmm. to there. And oh, then... did you have any before game powers you wanted uh, to use? Yes, I have to use my armory. Ten or better, a one. However, even though I feel that I do have the credits to pay for it, so I'm down to 450 credits, which sort of saves me. I'm going to see whether or not anybody wants to be bribed today. <laughs> no, nah. they do not. They don't. <laughs> they don't have time for your money and your shenanigans. All right, now, because this is basically a run for your life scenario, yes. I think my captain is going to make his second move. Or do I want him to do a power move? Yes, mm -hmm. he will try for a fortune. Mm -hmm. So it goes off on a 14. Mm -hmm. uh, for a 16, it will go off. Excellent. It gives so, you a token. Yes. Uh, place a fortune token either next to the figure or on your crew sheet next to the, the figure's entry. At any point, the player may discard this token to re-roll a combat roll, shooting roll, uh, or stat roll made by that figure. If used, the figure must take the result of the re-roll. They cannot choose to take the original roll. No figure may have more than one fortune token at one time. So basically, I'll put that next to my captain. Hmm. And he's, because he's doing it as a power move, it means he also gets his... A little three inch shifty on top. Yep. To pop him there. Mm -hmm. And it's just going to mean that he can re roll something that he doesn't want to go horribly, horribly wrong. Sure. Next, my regular crew member is just going to boogie with the captain for nine. Uh, my hacker can also boogie for nine. So he's going to run up and around the car here. Mm hmm. Uh, this guy can only go seven and a half, so he's going to go up behind here. And that's my captain stuff done. Ooh, okay. My captain will activate and will also take all of his friends with him. So he's got two recruits, a runner. Mm -hmm. He's got two recruits, a grenadier over here. He's got yep. Trask with him. So, uh, first things first, Void Blade. Dun, 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 dun. Successfully cast. Void bladeable, and like a Jedi, will zip three with his void blade, mm -hmm. and then we'll zip six, zip zip zip, 
to there. And then his friends, who are all recruits, are six. So, yes, one, we'll get him to there. And five and four, we'll get him in behind. And my grenadier with his might. The move of five will go seven and a half, yeah. one inch that way. So, Six. basically, we're not hanging about. We are all just trying to get through. Yep. Tuck in behind that. Uh huh. And your go. Right. So, uh, my first mate mm. is going to go with the two guys beside him. So, mm -hmm. I've got a commando and my uh, chiseler. So, I'll start with the commando. He is just going to move to boogie seven and a half. So he's just going to run up to about here. Mm -hmm. uh, then I'll have the first mate is going to move up and he's going to take a grenade shot just because he can. Just because he wants to say I love you. So he will drop it here. Okay. So if I successfully pass... It'll hit both your guys. So that'll be just a straight plus two. Nope, that's going to miss. Nope. And by a lot, so the template would yeah, just disappear. Just evaporate. And then my chiseler, he's got his move of six, so he can go nine toto. So he's going to use it just to run up into base contact with this piece of loot. Okay. Ready for next round. That all sounds great. I love it. I love it so much. So, yeah, it's one they check when the unwanted attention roll is done. So it's done at the end of the turn. Okay, okay. So your first mate? My first mate will tell the crew to get moving. Go, 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 crew. He screams mm -hmm. before running off himself. And he will just go his mighty five to there. Yeah. And then we'll go another two and a half to there. Mm -hmm. And then crew with him. Uh, runner can go seven. So seven crossing that will cost him. So that to there. Mm -hmm. Then three and a half will get him to here. Go, go. Run like the wind. Commandos. Five. Two and a half. Five. Two and a half to here. Mm -hmm. And that is my first mate. Okay, uh, so regular troopers for me. Mm -hmm. uh, Doggo can go 12 inches. Mm -hmm. So. Doggo is basically just going to zip up through to about here. Yep. So we up to there. I assume he's making a yep, 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 yep. Yeah, yeah, Noise. yeah. And then Mr. Medic mm -hmm. uh, goes seven for a start. And then half of that is three and a half. So he'll go three and a half to here. Oops. Helps if I don't knock down one of my troops. Or shift the medic. And then uh, Mr. Sniper, he has a move of six, I believe, yes. Uh, he's going to take himself up to a position of cover. Mm -hmm. And then he's, just for a giggle, going to take a hasty shot mm -hmm. at your uh, first mate who's out of cover to him. Sure. So it's a plus four shot, mm -hmm. because why not? Uh, for an eight, so 12. So if he says 10 plus 11 plus 2, 13. 13. So with 14 it will land. Yep. And do damage. Yep. Plus his armor? It, it would do that at 14, but you only got 12. Yes, sorry. Dum dum. Uh, that's my crew. Okay. That just leaves my Your case crew. and. Code then. Mm -hmm. So six inches or two, 
four, and then mm, three to there. Mm -hmm. He'll go two, four, and three to there, and be ready for next turn grabbings. Mm -hmm. So that's round one. It is, except ah, unwanted attention. Yes. So, cruel your dice. I'll be a 13. 13, plus one for the round is 14. Normally yeah. that means nothing happens, but However. we get a plus two to that because none of the ships lifted off. A rough appears. 16. Okay. So roll d20 somewhere in the middle of the table. Uh, 18? Uh, no, it's more for the, the direction. See where it comes from. Oh, it's pointing at you. Yeah, so that, that's why you need to do it in the centre okay. of the table, so you get an idea of where it's going to go. Uh -huh. So Ruffian is going to come in from here. Yeah. So that's not terrible. I don't really mind if a Ruffian appears there. In fact, I won't use my nice guys. I'll use some sort of terrible scumbag. <laughs> Who's a terrible scumbag? Oh, you're a terrible scumbag. <laughs> so I'll pop him on there in a moment. Okay. Six. Dun, dun, dun. So he'd come in from there. Uh -huh. And when he comes in, he can see someone. Mm -hmm. So he's going to immediately begin moving towards that someone? He might not. He might just start shooting. All oh, right. Because uh, if they've got weapons, they don't bother moving. They just start going pew, Bobby pew, away. pew into your back. Mm -hmm. uh, so I just need to see what a ruffian is armed with. Maybe he's just got some sort of short range thing. Yeah, or a just some club. Uh, da, 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 da. Pistol, so a 10 inch range with a pistol. Mm -hmm. So he might need to move, might not. Could just be lucky enough. 10, just lucky enough. Okay, so he's gonna shoot you? Yep. Will I do the roll for this? Yeah, sure. Okay. He's got a shoot of one. Uh, that'll be 13. And I have a defense of three. 15, 18. You're fine. I'm fine, but it has alerted me to a ruffian behind. Um, he, do, he will use his second action to move up after he's shot. Yeah. Because there's no point hanging around the back when there are people out there. Yeah. Dun, 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 six inches. So. Ruffians. But that is some free XP just waiting for you there. Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, that's five points of anybody's money right behind me. Mm -hmm. Right, round one, done. Mm -hmm. Okay, back for round two. Mm. Uh, initiatives. Initiative indeed. That'll be a three. Two. Yay. I do believe I want to continue going first. Mm -hmm. So, uh, first gonna start thing, with my captain. Well, first thing. Any of the escaping ah, yes. refugees blast off from this moon? For a seven? No. No, they do not. No, they don't. So when we roll again, it's got a plus two on it? Oh, yeah. Or does it accumulate? Oh, yeah, accumulate. So it's now a plus four? Mm. Okay. Don't do it. <laughs> Launch the ships. <laughs> okay, so Captain, Grunt, Medic, and Dog will activate. Okay. So... For the captain, action one, he's just going to walk up to this control panel and try and unlock it mm -hmm. with a plus three will mm -hmm. uh, on a 14 in it. 14. So that, oh. 11 or better. Twice in a row, really? Yeah. It was round. 15. 15. So I do get it. You do. So gimme, gimme. I've got one here. Red one. You got Yeah, it doesn't matter what color. I'll just put it there with him and make sure his fortune token comes with him. Mm hmm. Uh, then the lady, lady. Well, before before we do that, uh -huh. have you summoned something from the pit of hell? Ah, uh, fair point. Uh, on a twenty. You do, and roll again to see what it is. Please be small. Uh, fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, it's a horat. Okay. Whatever horat is, roll d twenty in the middle of the table so we can see where it's coming from. Okay. Uh, directly behind you. Okay, that's fine. So you're running from it. I'm running into it. Good. Horats are giant woolly rhinoceroses. At some point in the past, they were apparently spread around the galaxy to use as pack beasts. Right. Animal, hatred of gunfire, horns, large, strong. Mmm. Madness. Ooh. It's, it's not a friendly thing. 
Not sure what we're going to put down for that. If I'd brought a boomer with me, I would have brought a boomer, but I shall find something particularly terrible to use. It may um, just be some sort of tyrannid-like creature. <laughs> or the Hulk. I mean, if you want to use the Hulk, I can grab the Hulk. Grab the Hulk. All right. <laughs> Hulk smash. Um, anybody who, whenever he's doing his random moves, he will go towards gunfire first. Okay. So if somebody has been doing terrible things... Like shooting the opponent? Yeah, well, there's the attain. He's pointing there. Um, yeah. Uh, he will go to that. Okay. So he will literally go past people in the, <laughs> in the urge to rampage and smash into things that uh, have been knowing its happiness with okay, bang bangs. So no likey shootiness. Mm. Okay, uh, my medic. Mm -hmm. I believe my medic has a move of seven. So that'll be ten and a half my medic can move. Mm -hmm. And is basically going to ignore everything and just run right through to here. If you want to try and kill my medic, go ahead. He doesn't care. Uh, my other little lady is going to be able to go nine. She's just going to run up with the medic. And then Doggo for 12 is just going to run up to about here. Passing you. And that is my captain done. Oh, captain, my captain. Yep. Okay. So my captain's fears. He's within three, as is he. The fellow at the front isn't. Mm -hmm. So, for novelty value, mm -hmm. yeah, Captain Will. Come and play with your medic. <laughs> okay. And with the second action, he will attack. Okay. Uh, the fight of my medic. I don't think it's particularly fancy. It's a two plus. Five plus. Oof. 20, so that's a crit. Uh, that's a 10. So you definitely got me. Uh, I do plus two damage. Uh -huh. Plus five damage for the crit, so I'm on a plus seven. Watch your armor. On the medic, mm. it is not spectacular. It's ten. So that's 17 damage. He has 14 health. Zip, zip, zip. Walks up and goes, no, 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 no. Dead. These aren't the droids you're looking for. <laughs> and then uh, my fella here, uh -huh. he's going to go straight to there. And then to the console, mm -hmm. and we'll attempt to unlock the console. Okay. Go, 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 console guy, go. 19, he unlocks Work. the console. How <laughs> mad is that? Out. Does he summon the wild beasts? He doesn't. Well done him. <laughs> well done him. Unexpected. I'll give you that. Mm -hmm. And then my grenadier. Yes. Uh... I do just want to kill your recruit, but I won't. I'm going to come to here, tuck him behind there, and then in second action, he's going to lob a grenade. I'm assuming here? Yeah, well... Or do I aim it just in front, or do I try and aim it just behind? Uh, no, I need... Uh, if I go in front, you'll get uh, protection from the blast, which yeah, I don't want. But if you go behind, you don't get the plus two for seeing your point of impact. Yes, but, you know, who cares? It's good. Okay. So, 12s, um, minus one on my roll for not seeing where I'm going, minus one for being hasty. Yeah. So it's a minus two, my yep. shoot is uh, three uh -huh. here. So plus one. Elevens. Uh, Uno. One. Fluffed. Must check for ammo. Uh-huh. But not this time. That's okay. my movements there. Okay. Uh, first melee mate then. Mm. Uh, so is this dude in range? He is just in range. So it will be first mate, commando, and chiseler. Mm -hmm. uh, start with the first mate. Mm -hmm. He is basically just going to move himself out and around and up to here, staying in nice hard cover. Mm -hmm. And then he's just going to 
Pop a lovely little grenade on top of your guy. Mm -hmm. Right there. Okie doke. Can I catch the other guy with it? Um, you don't have, you don't aim for a guy. You aim no, for no, a I point, mean, which means you could aim for something over here. Well, if I aim to, there to try and get both. Yeah, to hit both. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'll go with that. So I can see the point. Yep. Here's the. Yep. Plus so, two, minus two. Plus two for his shooting. Yep. Tens. Two. Two. No good. And it's way off. You're twice as good as me with my grenade launcher, though. <laughs> All right. Uh, Commando. Mm -hmm. uh, he's going to... He's actually just going to sit where he is and shoot this guy in the back. No. Plus three. For a one. One. You must check for ammo. Yep. Do you want to do hickey or have you got to do hickey? I've got to do hickey. All right. Uh, Chisler is going to open uh, this with the plus six. Yep. So it's plus seven. A 20. 20. Opens. Yep. Gets it. Yep. And then do I summon anything from hell? A you 19. Do, you do. I do. Well done. What do you summon? Uh, five. At least you know where he's going back to. So... Okay, and location is over here. It's a Shangrilla. Skip to what a thing is. Uh huh. And a Shangrilla is a crazy monkey, <laughs> primate like creature. So, from there out to there. Yeah, so that makes sense. Out there. Where is the edge of the table? The edge of the table is. Right there, yeah. There. So, put them there. A lot of weird stuff in your ship. Somebody open it. Because there's a lot coming from your hangar. You know, Dang. I'm going to be honest, there there may have been some smuggling going on. There may have been some smuggling, just a small amount. Just, 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 you know, nothing super bad. A soup's on of smuggling. Uh, get rid of gunfire. If a crew member in line of sight make a shooting attack this turn, please will ignore any exclusive crew members that did not make a shooting attack when determining target. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, we at Buggery. I shot with him. Don't worry, lots of people shot. Okay. He shot, he shot, he shot. There's, you know, there's, uh, so there's a whole he's, he's the primary target. Yeah. Those are fine. This is good. Yep. First mate then. Yeah. My first mate will activate. He's got a friend. Mm -hmm. He will also activate. Uh, so, that's interesting. That's more interesting. Uh, I will. Will I? I think I will. Doing clever thingies? I might do clever thingies. I might do clever thingies. So. I'm going to move to here, so I'm going to cover anyway. Yeah. From sniper and thing. Mm, oh, mm, no, yes. Actually. I'll do it. I'll do it like this. I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it in a slightly different order. Okay. So I'm going to try and activate a power. Okay. I'm going to try and activate data jump. Okay. Are you trying to steal the data off me? No, I can't steal off you. It can only be used on friendly targets. Okay. But I can transfer it from a friendly to another friendly. What's the range? Uh, line of sight. Okay. So that's why I'm doing it now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. From here to here. Gotcha. So do I do it? On an 18, I will do it. Uh -huh. By Django. So... Well, who are you transferring to? I can transfer to another friendly crew member within eight. Your Capitan? Uh, my Capitan is within eight. Have some data, Captain. Zip, zip. <laughs> Streamed it through the crowd, or the cloud, or stuff. <laughs> the crowd. And then uh, he will use his three-inch move. Yeah, to get up into position, to, to shoot my position. Captain yep. in the rear end. And then we'll shoot. 12-inch combat shotgun. Yep. Survey says 13 plus, I think my shoot, 2, 14, 15. Well, that'll be 2 plus my captain's 4, so 6. So you've got me. Well, my shoot is 3 for Candrus. So 16. 16. Um, so Armor 13, I will take 3 damage. Take 4 damage because it's a combat shotgun, does additional damage. Okay. So 4 is a stun. Is that good? Yeah. Uh, that'll slow the man up a bit. And then. then no, hang on. Yes. I have fortune. Oh, you do? I think I'm going to use my fortune. Okay. So, what was your total there? 16. Okay. For an 8 plus my 4 is 12. So, still 4 damage. No. Yeah. I beat you. Ah, uh, yeah, you... it was the amount you beat me by, yeah. It's not the amount, it's never the amount I beat you by. It's the amount I beat your armour by. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. 
So okay, so stunned. St still stunned. And then you my... the fortune, but that was a worthwhile use of it. Oh, yeah. If it had come off, it'd been great. Yeah. Um, my commando uh -huh. shot cap. Uh-huh. For 19? 21. I think. 21 will probably beat me. I don't think I'm going to be higher than the three. Yeah. 19. Uh-huh. But, you know. Okay. Chipping away, and then... You will then do the boogie woogie five inches up to there. Uh huh. Going, oh, let's try not to move that. That's all my first mate can do. Okay, so trips. Yes. So, who's left? My regular commando here. Mm hmm. Going to move up for five. And from here, he will just grab the loot. The fell out of the box. Mm -hmm. Now he is going to take his penalties for that. Okay. Uh, then my hacker can go six, but I want him to go his full nine. So he's going to run up and around here. Uh, my uh, sniper up top mm -hmm. is going to shoot, then move. Okay. So a little bit of engines. You'll get cover, mm -hmm. but I'm going to shoot your first mate. Okay. For a plus four, 12. Mm, substantially more than 12. I get 12 on the dice. So. That's fine. All right, and then he'll use the last of his movement to bring him down to here. Okie doke. That just leaves me with yes. my case cracker and code breaker, if yes. you've nobody else. Yeah, who are way down front. So chimp attempting to break into that. Yeah. He actually has tools, which is nice. So plus eight. Does it? Opens it. Anything from hell? I imagine almost undoubtedly so. He will pick that up as free loot. Or as a free action, rather. Uh, no, nothing. Nothing comes crawling out of the woodwork today. Uh -huh. So that was his first action. Uh, now I know he's reduced by half movement. Uh -huh. Giving me a mighty three inches now. To slowly limp along with. That's okay. I go to there. And then his mate uh -huh. is going to go six Money there. Running. And he's going to go to there for next turn. Uh -huh. And then creatures. Yeah, monstery monsters. Hmm. So. Uh, so we we'll start with the Schlindra. Yeah. Um, is there something in line of sight? There doggo? are two in line of sight in the doggo. Well, he's closer. I'll check that in a second. Because obviously if it can spit, gob, or chuck things, mm. it may not need to move at all. That's what I'll we'll go for that first. Yeah, they only move if they have to. He's not. Okay. He's all about the moving and the punching things. Okay. So, you may need to remember 150. There could be a test later. Okay, I'll just write it down. <laughs> so, closest crew member. Mm -hmm. El Doglo is 14. Chimp with a gun is less than 14, so he's going to come towards Chimp with a gun. Okay. So he's going to go... Full move? Yeah. Well, he has to. He has to. Uh -huh. If he'd come up there and all of a sudden there was somebody standing here, he'd change yeah. direction with his second move, but mm -hmm. since there's not going to be anybody closer invisible, yeah. he'll go that so, way. The, the Nulk. Yeah. Um, are the crew members in line of sight? There are many. Any crew members in line of sight? Oh, hang on. I never moved these guys, did I? No, you did not. No, I should do that. Um, no, I won't do that because I should have done it earlier. But because I'm just looking to go, who shot this turn? Uh -huh. They didn't. Why did they not shoot? Because I didn't do anything. Um, so, closest uh, shooting base thing is still going to be him over there. Yeah. Which is at least going to slow... Chuckles down. Little cards for these would probably be nice. So you don't have to flip. 
Yeah. All right, just like a, a deck where you can just draw out your beastie and put it on yeah, the table. Yeah, put it on the table so you've got it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, especially when there are things that you're not going to see all the time. Mm -hmm. Just saying. Yeah. Uh, what's its page whenever you find it? Oh, it's going to be, they're all around about 150. It's alphabetical when you get there. So. Ah, okay. Uh, Horat. Yeah. He has moved six. Mm -hmm. Large, strong, hatred of things. So the Hulk will move six. However, the Hulk is also huge and moving past things. So the Hulk is probably only going to move to the other side of this. Mm -hmm. And then to there. To there as he attempts to ground his way up. Mm -hmm. And then delightful ruffian fella. Yes. Um, I think may have a choice. Well, he did have a choice between me and thee. Yeah. Uh, I think that'll be thee. I don't know. I think it's the, well, it's the captain until that thing ran it this way. So six. Mm -hmm. If he went this way, mm -hmm. he could get to there and take a shot mm -hmm. by Jingo at my captain from behind the filth wizard. Fair enough. That's what I would do if I was playing this game. All right, I'll roll for him. Okay, do we? Uh, he gets a plus nothing, I think, because he's terrible. He's mm. just the worst. It's an 11 anyway. Plus one. So 12. 12. I've got you plus eight. eight. Yeah. Nope. Let's try and keep it on the table. 23. You're fine. Ping, ping, ping. Turn then. Turn. Okay, back for the, the next round. Yes. And I forgot a thing. Table of horrible horrors. Yes, we both forgot a thing. Um, Rolly roll? Yeah. Roll low. Uh, for a nine? Nine's not low enough. Plus six, I think it is now. Yep, it's another ruffian. Where's the ruffian come in? Uh, this side, please. Because this side you're going to, it's worse for you. Uh, for a one, going out this way. Oh, that's a bit dull. Well, not really, because he might run into either of us at that point. And it's pointing a little more toward you. Oh, yeah. So we'll get him to there. Mm -hmm. We'll... That's actually about right. Yeah, fair yeah. enough. All right, initiatives. Yeah. Uh, for an 18. For six. I will go first. Oh, okay. So my captain... Oh, captain, my captain. He can activate the... Commando that's next to him. Yep. So he will lose his stun, mm -hmm. and he's just going to stagger off away from you for six inches. So he'll just come around to here where his buddy is, mm -hmm. and not try shooting you in the face. My other guy, he's normally a seven. He's minus one because of what he's carrying, so he's down to a six. It's not. Is it minus one or is it half move for Luke? I do believe it's minus one, okay. if I remember correctly. Oh, it's probably right then. I'm I'm ninety percent sure, but if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I know it's minus one to your rules for fighting. Mm. Is it? I think it, then it's it, there's minus one and a minus two on there. Loot, 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 loot. Mm -hmm. Page sixty odd, I believe. There we go. There's loot. Okie dokie. Not the right type of loot. Loot. Movement is halved. Have. Yeah, okay, minus one so to your first. fight and shoot. Seven, I go to three and a half. Mm. Oh, also, uh, well, my captain's carrying data loot. Yes, it doesn't affect you, it's just the physical stuff. Yeah, so three and a half for him. He just follow the captain with the loot. He may drop that at some point, going, This is too heavy and I need to get away. <laughs> Don't care anymore. It's Don't want this. It. Not worth it. It's just some random little box. Uh, so that's my captain done. On to yours. Okay. I believe my captain is out by himself. Yeah, it looks like it. He is. Actually, no, he's still within range of the Grenadier. He's not within range of anybody else. Mm. I think he'll activate the Grenadier with him. Because, mm -hmm. you know... There is a... a why nulk, not? A Nulk right behind there you. Is, right there is. Like there very much is. He will clear that jam. Uh -huh. And then he'll do a little fire in a moment. Uh, he... He will just go into there because you can snap two anyway. Right. So I imagine you probably fighting, fighting. have me. Yep. Okay. Uh, that grunt has a plus two. Fifteen. 
Uh, that's 16, 17, 18. Wow. So, 18. Stab to the face. That'll be... Many, many. Mm-hmm. Brings them down to nine. Uh-huh, and I will push you back an inch. Right. Because of winning. Okay, so I have to go back an inch. I must check. Do I drop data loot? Because that would be interesting. Because mm -hmm. it's not a physical thing. Uh, I will fire my grenade. Yep. At that pack of people here. Okay. So if it lands, you'll get all three. Okie dokie. You know what I miss? I miss little tabs that I can stick into books mm -hmm. so I know where I'm at. Car move. Loot. Here we go. Loot. If you're killed, you drop it. Uh huh. But that's it. Okay. So you either hand it over, deliberately drop it, or if you're killed, you drop it. But no. Okay. You can't have it knocked out of your data pad for being stunned. That's right. So. Should he shooting? Should he? Yep. So 12 uh, plus one. Yes. And plus your. Plus my shoot, shoot of three. Yep. So plus four. Seven and four is 11. It misses, but it scatters by one. Yeah, and it scatters that way. So, so. Uh, an inch back. Uh, so I would say you only get two? Yep. So my commando and my captain. Sure, commando. Uh, 13. I'll be at one. So he'll take, what's commando, armor 11? Yep. So you'll take two damage. Uh -huh. And your Capitan uh -huh. is a 12. Plus four for a five is nine. So he will take it as well. He's on 13 armor. He gets no damage. Lovely. His armor is too strong. He yeah. has too strong armor. This is why I paid for it. Yep, that's me. Okay, uh, so my first mate. Mm. He has my Chiseler and the Commando in mm -hmm. range. Uh, so... I am going to. I'm going to use an ability. Mm -hmm. It's got strain two on it, so it will hurt. So he'll take two damage for this, but he's trying to destroy weapon, and it's just within line of sight. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to be within twelve, so he may need to move first. No, he does not. So I'm basically trying to destroy your sword. Okay, because uh, that is. So annoying for your defense. Void blade is indestructible. But your regular blade is not, and without your regular blade, you cannot void blade. That's true. So I need a 14. Okay. An 18. Okay. Void blade, no more. That's fine. And he'll have a done it as a power move. So mm -hmm. he'll have three inches. Mm -hmm. And then his regular move of six to get him up to there. Then Commando has to drop this and has one action, mm -hmm. which will allow him to move for his seven. Oh no, not seven, it's five. So he can get around to here. Chisler, uh, up and over, loses two inches, yeah? It's one inch per whatever you're crossing. Okay, so, uh, so he can get like five inches. So he'll get up to about here. Which I'm okay with. Mm -hmm. And that's my first mate. Okay. Yours. So mine. Mm -hmm. Go, Andrus, go. Give them all the good news. There's one fella with him. That's all right. Yeah, Candrus will activate the commander with him. Uh huh. And he will go five inches to there, two and a half. And the commando will take a shot at you there. Uh huh. So you get one cover. Uh huh. Well, that's me sneaker. Yep. So Daisy, two. I wouldn't bother rolling. Oh, well, okay. And then he will jog on with the other one. Oops, a daisy. 
Let me go over the wall. Second verse, same as the first. Go to there. So that's my moves for my first mate. Uh, so troops, mm. uh, who's left? So I've got him left, mm -hmm. the dog left, and her left. Mm -hmm. So dog is just going to go yeah, inches and get off the table, I yeah. believe. Well, they need to go yeah, just further, but a second activation will take them. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So again, getting it at least nearly there. Yep. And then gone. Uh, my lady here yep. is basically just going to try for double move to get out and around and up to here. Anybody going to intercept as she goes? Yeah, he will. Okay, so she'll stop here and you'll link in. Mm -hmm. and was that within the first six it would have been? So I do have an action to fight. Mm -hmm. So plus two for 22. Nice. Uh, commando... Plus three. Nope, no crit. Mm -hmm. uh, so 22, 11, uh, plus five. 16. That'll actually be a killer. Order. Yep. I'll take it. Uh, and then my sniper. Uh, so he's going to go for his six inch move mm -hmm. from where he is. Uh, doesn't really mind much. So basically, I'm going to boogie out up to about here. Mm hmm. And then he'll just take a shot at this guy who's out of cover sure. for a plus four. Uh, that'll be 16. 17. Okay. Uh, that's all my trips. Okay. So the rest of mine. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. So you've got these two guys here. Him. Uh, those two. Him and those two, yeah. Yep. So. Uh, 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 uh. Hmm. He's actually just going to charge straight in there. Okay. So you're going into my chiseler. Your okay. Stabby. Uh huh. Two seven. seven. Plus one for a two. Ooh. You will hit. Uh, armor of ten. Seven damage. Okay. He should be stunulated. Yes, he shall be stunulated. And then he will do the same into this commando. Uh huh. Uh, that'll be 16 plus his whatever. That'll be 19. Plus 3. 19. Uh, 21. Oof, you get through. So, so 10 damage. 10 damage on him. So he's on four. Ow. And then... He'll go in there. Into the sniper. Plus three. Seven. Twenty. Eight. Uh, so actually twenty-three. Twenty-three. Uh... And it's a crit. He only starts with 12 health, so he's dead. But he's also free. It's always important to take cheap, free aliens. Yeah. Okay. Tap to loot data terminal. Uh-huh. With your plus, you get plus it. Plus eight, yep. Do I summon the ungodly? You do. I do. What do you summon? Time will tell. Get that to there. Mm-hmm. It certainly says. 18, 18, something big. Something big and something behind me as well, which is always good. Uh, well, do you not roll after when you roll what it is to see where it's coming in? Is the way we've been doing it? Yeah, only because you keep rolling in a corner and I can't see where the dice is aiming. <laughs> uh, if you just do that, you just have to roll once then. So Fair enough. The, Fair enough. The arrow on it. So, uh, Bistre. Uh huh. It is a war pound. Oh, that's not too big. Spacer's Nightmare, they, they call them. You sound like Spacer's Nightmare. <laughs> Dump. Dog like creature. Hates gunfire. Never stunned, never wounded. Powerful. Immune to critical hits, immune to toxins. Move eight, fight four. Will plus 15. Ah! <laughs> 
it's appalling. Yeah. Um, but then he will uh, Jeff jerk it that way with the second maneuver. Okay. So he's going. Yeah, you're trying to run out around the very bottom of the, yep. the field. I think you're getting close to the edge of the table there. That's all right. Because the road should be there. Isn't it? Yep. Yeah. So you're just in, just have enough room to squeeze through there. That's fine. Even if I don't have it on shot, I don't think. Oh no, I've got it. And then uh, half move, nine, five and a half inches. Where's me? It's going to go. Half move? Yes. Oh, yeah. He's carrying physical. Oh, so he did double move then? Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, beasties. Yeah. These things. So let's do the easy one first, because the big one's coming after you. Mm, he is. Hulk smash. Uh huh. So, Hulkuloid then. Uh huh. Well, it rolls a two. That's not ideal, even for a Horat with his fight of four. So uh, that's a six. I roll a one, so I don't even hurt you in return. They will stay locked in combat, though. Mm -hmm. uh, he's large and he's strong. What does strong do? Large is a plus two to hit him when you're uh, shooting at him. Plus two fight. And strong plus two damage when he hits as well. Oh, la la. all sorts of evil. Uh, ruffian. Uh. Yep. Yeah, he's going to shoot my first mate. Hmm. Oops, a daisy. For a five. Eight. Plus three is eight. Yeah, so it's an eight here as well. So Nada. it's not going to do much, but at nope. the same time. He is going to move up. Yep. And in. And into combat. Yep. Okay. And then this delightful gentleman here will go eight. Uh huh. To there, and the second move into there. We'll go in there. Can't fight this turn there. No. And over here, six. Going to get to there, and then into my first mate. Yes, fun times. Mm. Okay. Then we need to summon the unwanted attention. Uh, Hang on, we've got one last ruffian. You, actually, you know what we forgot to do at the start of this as well? Blast off. Yeah. Well, we'll do it at the end. Oh, we could skip it for that turn because I just take the plus two. Yeah. Okay. I'm so just I'm just wondering if anybody has wandered in who may not who who wouldn't have been hit beforehand. Actually, at the moment, I don't think. Well, actually, these people may. Yeah, it would change yeah. that completely. So we'll yeah. just take the plus on it this time and remember next turn. Okie dokie. Uh, so line of sight. He's in line of sight there. Yeah. Um, he's also in combat. Yeah. So fifty fifty. So fifty fifty. Is it high, high for the, the big one? Yep. Uh, no. Hello, it's on you. It's going to hit the Grenadier. Uh -huh. So for him, uh, he's a plus one. So that's a 16. And that you is will stop it. 17 plus whatever my fight is. Mm -hmm. So yeah. All right. Now for the, the then, horrible unwanted attention. Then he'll move up. So uh, plus six for these not going off. Yep. And then it's round three, so plus nine. Mm. Roll low. For a four, so 13. Oh, that's fine, that's nothing. For the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's grand. Okay, uh, monster's all done. Monster's all Rolling's done. Rolling's all done. Mm. That'll be right. Okay, we're back for round four. Mm. Blast off. Well, initiative first. Oh, yeah. Nine. 14. I'll roll for blast off. For a 20. Nope. Nada. So this will be plus eight now. Mm. Okay. Uh, I will go first. Thought you might. Yeah. So my captain and his three mates around here are going to go. Mm -hmm. So we'll do the, the fight here first. Uh, so as far as I know, I believe my chiseler is just a plus one. Mm -hmm. So that'll be a ten. Four, five. No. So ten. That might actually injure him. I might do uh, one. No. No? no. Okay. All right, so then my, my hacker, he is just going to go straight into your commander mm -hmm. to lock him down. Okay. 
And oh. you don't have a combat weapon now, do you? I don't, no. So you're just with your fists? Yes. How does that affect you for fighting? Um, it gives you minuses to hit and damage. Okay. Uh, I think I have a knife on him. Or some kind of fighty thing. Uh, hacker. Yeah, he's got a knife. So you'll hit on your fight, but you'll be at minus one damage, because knives are at minus one. Uh -huh. I'll hit at minus two and be at minus two damage. Right, and what's your fight stat? Five. Five, so you'll be on threes? Yep. Uh, I'm honestly not going to fight you. No? I'm just going to sit there. Okay, that's fine. And lock you out. So okay. what's going to happen with the rest is, Mr. Captain, mm -hmm. nine-inch boogaloo mm -hmm. to get up to here with his data stuff. And the other guy, so starts on a base of five, and then it's half. Two and a half. Uh -huh, and then an inch and a quarter. Mm -hmm. So three and three, three quarters. And three quarters. So. This would have been an ideal game to go to metric. Just saying. Yeah, so he'll get to there. Also, it's in the future. Imperial measurements will have died out by then. <laughs> All right, so Nobody's that's going enough. to the stars with imperial measurements. So you're captain. Yeah, my captain. Yeah, uh, well, I've, I've kind of put him in a position right here where it's just like, fight me. Um, he's actually going to go for uh, life leech. Okay. So activating on a nine. Uh -huh. Eleven. Activates. You have to make a will check. Uh, toughness. Okay. Uh, will plus one. Mm-hmm. A three? No. Nope. So you'll take three off me. Yep. And I will get three back. It's fine. I can do double digits though. Mm -hmm. I can remove that. Uh huh. Okay. Is that everything? Yep. Okay. You push me back. Yep. So uh, first mate mm -hmm. is just going to fight here. Fight the ruffian. Yep. Uh, for 12 plus. Ooh, 17 is going to be a hit. What is fight? Go, Ruffian, go. So it's a 15, and 17 has beat me. 17 has beat you by stuff that is fight to it. Mm -hmm. 17 on the dice. Primitives, pirates, repair bots, and ruffians. Here we go. Fight of plus two, so 19. Mm -hmm. What's your armor? Uh, 13, so I'll take six damage. Yeah, it's not. Oh, no, sorry. It's nine. Nine, so you'll take 10. Yes. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I am injured. Oh dear. And stunned. Oh dear. That's not good. Uh, that's him. So on to you. My first mate. Yeah, who's oh, way over here. Oh yeah, he's also he's also combat. engaged in combat with a gun dark. Yeah. Can Han pull the ears off a gun dark? Time will tell. I will find you the rules for the Shangri-La, shangri I can see why people call it a crazy monkey. <laughs> yeah. um, it has a plus two fight. Okay. But I'm going to attempt to use a power first. Okay. And see how that goes. Uh, he also has sharp teeth, mm -hmm. which I imagine is some sort of clever special rule. It does plus one damage okay. if it gets through. So I'm going to attempt to use my... There's my proper rebel dice. Uh, I'm going to attempt to use my concealed firearm. Uh huh. So let's have a quick look. See, seven. Yeah. I don't. Okay. If I did, I would have pulled a little derringer and just shot you in the face. Yeah. Any stress? Uh, I'll take one strain from that. Or strain. Sorry. Yeah. I keep saying that wrong. Um, but you know, we can live with that. Yeah. He's he's weathered well so far. Mm -hmm. All right. Plus two fight. Yes. And can plus three. Uh, so no, that's, he's only an eight, you should be fine. 20. You are very fine. It's probably uh, dead. 22 in total. Mm -hmm. uh, Shangri-La has got a health of 12 and an armor of 10. So yeah, that will so take 12 out. and the five is just, you know, 17. dancing in the blood. So that's, uh, that's a nice little bonus. Yeah. Um, so that's both my actions. Uh-huh. Because I attempted to use yep. power. Okay, so. Crew, uh, I have a fight to do here, uh, which is, I believe, plus three. Yep. You're up against one of my top men. Uh huh. Not really. 
Just to recruit. Uh, 12, 15? Uh, 16. You win. And this guy's already quite badly injured. So, armor 11? Uh, 16, so 5 damage. He's dead. Wah, wah, bop. Oh dear. Uh, then I have... These are all done. She has to go and fight that. Yes. With a plus one. That's not going to be pleasant. I can imagine. The Warp Hound has a plus four fight. Mm-hmm. One. Rules You're one. lucky. Lucky. Uh, four. So I do win. You do win. You won't do any damage because it has armor, but you can still push it back an inch. Uh, do I want to? Not really, because what no, I'm going to do is... This guy here, mm -hmm. the sniper, has a move of six. Mm -hmm. And he's going to see if that will. Yes, he's going to get in and assist and fight. Okay. So, so sniper gonna, uh, is plus three on fights. Plus two for being supported. So plus five. Yep. I'll be 21 total. And that will be 18. Cool. So 21 will get through. Its armor's 13, so that's 8 points. That's half its health. Okay. That is good enough for me. Mmm. Do you want to push him away? Well, he'll just walk in and go again, won't he? He will. So there's but, no point. But if you push him directly away from you, he'll go into the, the uh, little lady recruit and not back into you, because you cost money. She cost nothing. Fair the point. dead cost even so, yeah. less. I'm not saying you should definitely murder her, but enough, if you're going to pick somebody to murder, the costless one. The costless yes. one is the one to go for. This is fair enough. Do I know the only person who's got away so far is my friggin' dog? I don't know. You know, I heard the clash and she's beep, 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 off to the friggin' shuttle and just sitting there at the ramp going. <laughs> it's just pawing on the windows. Why won't anybody let me in? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Talking a leg. Pee yeah, peeing on one of the yeah. landing struts. Yeah. Uh, so is that all of your soldiers? Uh. Yes. Okay, so my soldiers, yes. I have to go against the giant horned the thing. Elk. That's going to be pleasant. Mm -hmm. uh, 17 plus 3? I may actually get 20. Yeah, plus 3. Uh, it rolled a 7, plus whatever it gets. Uh, it gets many, but not enough to beat a 20. Uh -huh. uh, the Horot has a armor of huage. Uh -huh. Armor of 14. So six points of damage to it. Okay. It still has eight left. Okay. That's going to make it very annoyed. Mm -hmm. Annoyed. Don't hit Hulk. Hulk will smash. <laughs> you are oh, like when Hulk smashes. There's a curb there, that's why. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so this dude here. Is he not already gone this turn? Villainy villain. Oh no, that, that was just because oh, it's, yeah, that's it's, your soldier. It's, this is my crew turn, yeah. yeah, yeah sorry, yeah. I'm being dumb. All right, who's next? Um, so, you well, still got the well, two here. I'm not finished with this yet, because right. I won there. Right. I'm going to push the Hulk back an inch. Right. So he goes back an inch, uh -huh. and then I'm going to book it. <laughs> no! Five inches, run away! Run away! Uh, Baby, don't hurt me. Did anyone around here shoot? Um, no, no. Most people have been being stabbed in the face, which doesn't upset him so much. He will just go to the nearest thing he can. But which he, is my captain. But he favours shooters over non-shooters. If you still had somebody to go, you could fire wildly into the air just to discourage yeah. it. Um, anyway, the rest of mine. Yeah. So, uh, five and a half he's going to go that way uh -huh. uh, he's going to leapfrog him because he's not as slow yeah and I do feel like I should probably save my captain <laughs> uh, but at the same time you know oh hang on there's another free fella free fella will jump in here okay taking a swing and take a swing with a plus two alright uh, plus one I'll be six uh, twenty one 21. On um, the Chisler? Yep. He is dead. Wah, 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 wah. Okay, they've all gone. That just leaves this fella here who will. Yeah, he's, he's not going to sacrifice himself. Pretty sure that we've all seen the captain handle himself. I mean, the idea that the captain wouldn't handle himself is just madness. Yeah, not realizing that somebody broke his light beam sword. 
Yeah. So, he's just going to be that way. Yeah. So and is it Table of Horribleness first or after Monsters? After Monsters. Okay, so Monsters. Yep. Right, just because it sucks, let's do this first. He'll go in and attack. Dokey. Thankfully, Dutch is no slouch. He's got a plus four all his own. So plus six for the Hulk. For a seven. Nineteen. Nineteen total. I will take six damage. Uh, you'll have to add another two to that because he's strong. Uh huh. Where did I? I keep putting my pencil down and I'm losing that <laughs> thing. Thank you kindly. I think it's still in front of you. It's just grey. Oh, I got it. All right. All right. So how many am I taking? Um. Was six. Was six goes up to eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's twelve damage out of his seventeen. He's spicy. He is a big boy. Uh, this little fella here will go for whoever's in line of sight and closest, which I think is going to be there. Yeah, there's a brick wall in his yeah. way there. Yeah, so he's so going to shoot and move. He's going to take a shot. Right, so that's his shot three, will be... Uh, 10. 15. Uh, that'll beat it. And four points of damage. Move into there. Take six total. Uh, the Warp Beast of Hell. Yes. Well, oh no! What a terrible shame! Into the Recruit. He's attacking the Recruit. Who would have thought it? Plus one for a 17. 17? She may actually beat him. Um, the Hound of Deathness. Yeah, the Hell Beast. The Warp Hound only has a fight of four, so that's only 16. So I beat him by one? Beat him by one. But that doesn't matter, because uh, you've got a 17. Armour is 13, so it takes four points of damage. Four left. Still alive. Yeah. Kind of sucks, but... Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, and then it's horribleness? just pirate time, I think. Okay, pirate time. Uh, so, okay. It's a plus 10, I yep. think, now. Mm. Uh, so 15, base. So this just ramps up and gets worse. That'll be a 30. 30. Oh, no, it's coming in over there as well. See, if that'd be in the centre of the table, it would be literally in the centre coming at me. So that's probably where they should come in from. Uh, so what did you say? It was a 30. 30 is probably going to be some... Maxed out. Elite pirate troopers. Yeah, some big nasties. A pirate shock troop. And a pirate shock trip. Oh, so you need a second directional roll. So give me a second directional roll. So one's going to come in from the back base board. Yeah. And the other one. So we call it this point here. Okay. And uh, for the second. Yep. Oh, like right here. Okay. So one of them's dropping in right at the corner here where Jerry's loot guys are trying to get out. And six in. Yeah. Yeah, so six forward and there. So the Pamirates are coming after you now. Yeah, you seem to have got some sort of cluster of unholy monsters. Yeah. Whereas the Mandalorian pirates appear to have appeared. Oh dear. <laughs> so, end of the turn. Yes. Uh, initiatives? Initiative indeed. Yeah. Seven to beat. Four. Ooh. So it's your turn to roll for explodiness. Exploding three. <laughs> Take that down. Because <laughs> what happens now is this one's going to go boom. Three. One, two, three. <laughs> so. We need basically anybody within four of the edge of that. Yeah. So, I mean... I think the only one here that's not getting it is my little commando there, but everybody else is going to get it, including both captains. Both captains, including the Hulk. Yeah, your, your Nulk is going to get it. It's probably best not to set fire to Hulk. <laughs> um, so, interesting. We do a damage from the attack as normal at a plus four. Okay. And then you hit terrain over one inch high you stop, otherwise you just flip over smaller bits of terrain. Okay. Um, okay, all right. So how do you want to do this? Do you want to roll individually for everybody who's going to get hit? Or do we want to do one roll and see? I think... Because we can all be scattered and nobody take any damage with a low roll. 
or we could roll everybody individually and see how much they take to the face. So my thinking is we do one roll for the ship. Yep. And then everybody defends individually. Yep. Is the way I would do it. So yeah. for the ship. Yep. Yep. Roll low. Four plus four is an eight. Eight. That is low. Uh-huh. That's good. Uh, okay. So let's start from the outside first, just to make life easy for moving stuff. Yeah. So Disc Commando is going to defend himself with his fight of three. Mm-hmm. Uh, on a 13. Fine, because yep. you're just having to beat the 8. Yep. Her on a plus 1. Uh, for a 15. Uh, Im. Uh, he's my hacker. So he only gets a plus 1. 12. Oh, hang on. No, no, no. Sorry, misread that. Okay. So, determine the damage from this attack as normal. Uh -huh. So you roll your d20 plus 4. Uh, and then says, move the figure directly away have the damage rounding down and apply it to the figure's actual damage. Oh, so you don't even get? No, we don't even get. Okay, so we're all getting just blasted away and taking damage. We're all taking four points of damage. We're all taking four points of damage? Mm. Yeah. No so, armor, no nothing? Nope. If the damage roll was a nine, for example, you'd be moved nine inches away and then take four points of damage. Okay, so we're all going we're, eight and taking four? We're all going eight and take or I say eight, we're all going a distance until we hit a brick wall. Yeah, so Commando, he's going to go 8 to here and take 4. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, can we get stunned off this because we're taking 4 damage? Oh, yeah. So he'll be stunned. Basically, everybody's stunned. Everybody's stunned. Uh, my lady here, she'll go back and hit this. I'm so glad. And take her 4 damage. So glad I sucked life off. <laughs> Uh, he basically just gets knocked back to about here. Yep. And takes his four. I'll go it to there. So he's taking eight damage. The Hulk will weirdly, or not weirdly, really go that far. Uh -huh. and uh, now, if you hit another model, do you flip over it, I assume? Yeah, it's, it's only if it's terrain. Uh -huh. And higher than an inch okay, will you so be stopped he would stop here and take four he's on 15 one two That's he actually in. dies oh dear the first mate dies from that that ruffian uh goes to there and takes yeah. four so i assume i get knocked past the hulk yes and take four on dutch one two three Four, so he's on 16, mm -hmm. so he's wounded. Uh, and then this fella is just actually going to go slamming straight into straight her. Back into there, yeah. Uh, but four will kill it, because he only yeah. had four left. Yeah. Unfortunately, so, that means nobody gets the experience for having exploded that devil dog. <laughs> yeah, but he basically body slams into her and dies. That's true. Oh, he doesn't get stunned, because yeah. he's, he's the Hulk. Hmm. <laughs> Youch. That was unfortunate. There's lesson learned. Don't fight around spaceships. I mean, you're kind of the one that blocked the road attacking me so hard. I, I was just Blaming trying to, you. I was just trying to get out. <laughs> That's all I was doing. Uh, okay, so you got the initiative. I got the initiative. So you're capping. Oh yeah, I'm taking that. So uh, are you so, in combat with me? I think not. Uh, no, because you blew in one direction. I went into the, the yeah. wall. Although I'm within an inch, so. Theoretically, things yeah. can happen. Yeah. Um, I'm going to attempt heal uh -huh. for five, <laughs> which I will do. Yeah. That's good. It's the only thing I can do. But so his stun goes away. That's yeah. my captain. Uh, my captain will also attempt to heal mm. once I find my dice. So it's on a 10. It will pull off. Mm. And so he will get five health back. And you will no longer be stunned. Yes. That's probably just as well. well wounded. Probably just as well with the Hulk there, like there, right behind you. No, I have a plan for that. Are you going to get one of your crewmates to fire wildly into the air like an Iraqi at a wedding, <laughs> thus drawing its attention? Pretty much. Yeah. One of them is going to go boom, boom. That's probably the best way, yeah. Yeah. First mate, then. Uh, yeah, mine's dead. Mine. <laughs> Bully for you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh... I don't go for, uh, yeah, seven and a half. So I'll go to there. Uh -huh. Hi, guys. You going to shoot him? No. That's my full move because Candrus wears heavy uh, armor. 
So. Ah, okay. But just just preparing to uh, help yeah. the friends next turn. Yeah. So yours went, mine's dead, your troops. My troops? Yes. So if he goes eight there and then one more. Uh, yeah, you would just about get off. Happy date. So he just goes, hello. That'll do me. Uh, and then, you know, five and a half inches at the run. Mm -hmm. um, get out of line of sight. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that'd be the idea. It's kind of what I'm thinking, but I don't think I can do it. Six. Well, if you just run like right across here. Into oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm not going to get to. Yeah. I'm going to get a, a shoot action. Well, I could get a shoot action. No, I don't want to. Don't want to anger the beast. <laughs> okay, so next ones will go uh -huh. to there. Just booking it. And they say everybody's making a run for it. <laughs> they don't want to end up as lunch. Okay. They may have a chance to prevent being killed by a pirate as well. <laughs> uh, right. Everybody's gone. Yeah. That's all, right, all of me. So just my trips then. Just your troops. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll honor my word. I will plant one into the back of your uh, first mate's head. Yes. I'm going to attempt to shoot Candras. Yeah. Why not? Uh, for a five plus four is nine. Uh, I get a one. So you'll hit me. You won't do any damage. Yeah. Uh, I will have my, no my hacker stand. here plant one into the back of your leader's head. Oh dear. Uh, for a 14. You know. Mm -hmm. so that's the armor. That'll be a hit. Uh, armor nine. So five damage. Five damage. Okay. But he's fine. I'm sure. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm I'm still fine because mm -hmm. I keep healing myself up. But yeah. he doesn't like gunfire. <laughs> I know he doesn't just, like gunfire. Just, I'm just but saying. I want him away from my big boss. Okay. Yeah, you know. Just. You know, I'd, I'd rather him charge a dunger who hasn't cost as much as my leader. Just as long as you're aware. And then this guy for his half move, so from five, it's two and a half. So three and a quarters gets him up to there with his loot to be out the way. Mm -hmm. And then monsters. Yeah. So big boy. Yeah. He will so, run at you. No, he won't run at me. He'll run no? at you. All right. Um, because he would have gone fire means they will literally ignore. Crew that didn't fire. Oh, to, get to somebody who did fire. So, right. so I, I can't just use it as you know, ping pong. Put the gun in the air and draw you in Walking no. Dead style. No. Okay. You can't do that in the Walking Dead, um, but you can't do it here. So okay. in this case, he'll go out and round. He'll have to go out and round. Yeah. Oh, and I forgot these two, but they won't really make a difference. So he'll go to there. All right. And then his second action will get into there. That's a ridiculously big base, but you know. Yeah. I know. Um, we needed yeah. something big. Yeah, well, he's meant to be a woolly rhino type yeah. thing. All right, so we'd have a, a shot from here into your grenadier for a plus one. Yep. Uh, oh, 21. Critical. Yes. Uh, so it will get through because I didn't roll a crit. Uh-huh. And 21. I've got 11, so 10 plus 5 is 15. So the grenadier will get shot. Popped. In the back of the head. Yeah. Okay. Because he only has 14 health. Uh -huh. And then this dude here would probably shoot your leader. Yes, he is the closest. We're in 18, so 19. And uh, 15. So, yep, he'll take a hit there as well. Uh, I think it's... His armour is... His armour's nine. Nine, so ten points. Ten points. Oof. Which will kill him. The scum and villainy are doing better than my entire crew. Yep. Da, da, da. Which means I will drop data on the floor. Yes, you will. Yeah. Which is good enough. Yep. And then we've got these two guys here, yep. which are the elite ones. So what are their stats? So they have carbines and combat armor. Mm -hmm. And they also have a plus four shoot, plus four to fight. Okay, well, he would shoot here mm -hmm. uh, for a 23. I would get a 21... Is there anything cover? Uh, well, you would be up against hard cover here. Oh, in that you're case. Face contact it. Yeah, in that case, I'll be fine. 25. Right. And then here to here? 
out in the open. So plus two. Uh, twelve. Twenty two. Alright. So and fine. I think that's game. Yeah. A lot of fun. Very different to what I was expecting. I was expecting yeah. more of a we would just like be ships passing in the night. Yeah. There was a lot more scrapping and fighting there than I thought would happen. Well, there has to be because I came here for a deal and I'm not leaving here without money. And then yeah. I seen you and I remember that you shot me that time. Yeah, but you just know, vengeance is definitely a good option. That Always. And I, I did pick up a couple of pieces of loot very early that were maybe very shiny and you thought, no, 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 I, I deserve that in recompense. I do, yeah. Yeah, honestly, very fun game. Very yeah. different feeling game with the, the different scenario. Because yeah. the first one, it was just, I was looking at it going, I want to just get in and grab some stuff. The fact that the scenario forces you to move past each other, and the fact yeah. that there's so much stuff coming in and around you. I know we got a lot on the monster rolls, but yes. the, the threat of the pirates just increasing and increasing every round. You've got that thing where we could have just been launching these yeah. every round, so we wouldn't have got as many pirates, but we would have had more inconvenience from this suddenly knocking off and firing both of my code breaker and... Case yeah. cracker into a wall. Yeah, that would have been horrendous. You yeah, know, or so. like getting blown back near the your near your side of the table, which happened to a couple of my things. Yeah, yeah, it's a, but, it, it's all a bit uh, frisky. But yeah, one more turn would see most of well, would see all of my stuff. One to two, we would have most of our gear off. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I tell you what, everybody, tell us how you would have played this scenario. Mm. Uh, myself and Jerry will move on, and we will see you again in the next one. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.